What is going on, everybody? It's your boy GS, and today we are showing you guys another online ranked match. After our last victory with the Vikings, that domination that we had, uh, our record improves to 11 and 6. So hopefully we can go on ahead and get ourselves a victory and show you guys, well, not show you guys, but upgrade our record to 12 and, and 6. So uh, we're going to go with the Jaguars this game, and I have no idea that they had a 96 speed running back on their roster. Uh, no matter what mode I go to, I can't get away from Dre Archer, man. This fast, biblical bum. So annoying. Uh, thankfully, he didn't put him as a starting running back. Why? I mean, I understand you got Le'Veon Bell. But in months, uh, Dre Archer is probably the better running back. Head-to-head, uh, -head, probably got to go with Le'Veon. Uh, so here we go. Second and eight right here. Decides to run the ball, and he's just got a nice little running attack. And why not? They definitely have some really good running backs. And then he picks up the first down right there. So, you know, just trying to get accustomed to uh, what type of offense he's got going. And beautiful blitz right there, right up the middle. And then he gets a nice run. But thankfully, that animation where he bounces backwards... Prevent him from getting forward progress. He goes deep up top and thankfully overthrown. He definitely had to step on him. So fourth down and he decides to punt the ball, man. Fourth and ten. This man got that fourth down swagger tree, baby. So here we go. I'm going to give the ball to my 96 speed running back right here. Grant so fast and he has such an amazing game. Right here we hit him with the torches looking for good block. Get out. Get out the way, baby. I put my tight ends out there, man. And uh, give me some pancakes, man. Right here. Nice little corner out right there. Blake Bortles right there hitting dots. So here we go. Nice little corner route right there. Again, he's not protecting the sideline, baby. And if you're not protecting, we go infiltrate. I said if you're not protecting, we go infiltrate. And right there, another corner route, man. He just continued to play cover three, not making any adjustments. Right, whoop. And right, whoop. Oh, oh, we got him doing the one too. So he didn't know what to do. He was backpedaling and running forward and then going in circles. And he was just confused, he did. So there we go, going up seven to zero. Nice little way to start. Whoa, Mike, did you see that at the bottom left? I mean, Dover, what the hell was it? Wait, whoa, whoa, rewind that, y'all, rewind that. So uh, we're up seven zero. We're gonna try our best to see if we can get another stop right here to see if we can go up multiple possessions and good find. It's a fumble. We hit him with that right bumper, baby. We stripped him booty butt hole naked, baby. I just wanna see you strip right now, right now. Oh, oh my, come on, baby, come on, hey, 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 hey. Don't you be going for my knees like that, man. Right there, I run right into the cornerback blitz. Perfect play call by him at that time. Second and 12 right here. Again, you see him. He's continuously playing the uh, cover three. But this time, he manually guarded my Z spot. So right here, I'm just trying to get in field goal range, man. Get myself a few yards. And Grant was like the sixth yard inside Juke. And we'll set up for the field goal. Again, fourth down, swagger tree. If you guys have no idea what that means, that just means on every fourth down, I do special teams. If I'm on field goal range, I kick a field goal. If I am not in field goal range, I punt. Unless I'm kind of like in that Mesozoic area where I'm too far to uh, kick a field goal, but I'm too close to punt, i.e. if I'm on like the 40-yard line and it's fourth and three, I'll go for it. But for the most part, 99.8% of the time, we got extremely lucky right there with a horrible throw from Big Ben. That was an easy 12, 15, 20-yard gain. Um, yeah, but for the most part, uh, I'm kicking field goals or, you know, punting every fourth down. And, uh, again, uh, if anybody asks why I don't do this when I play Mutt, it's because there's not enough time. You know, somebody can go on ahead and kill the clock an entire half where you don't see the ball. I know I've done it to folks. Folks has done it to me. So you got to go on ahead and uh, take advantage of every possession. Here, you know, six minutes per quarter, that's that's quite a long game. So I can punt the ball two, three times and still have an opportunity to go on ahead and get those possessions back. So second and goal right here, definitely in prime position to go on ahead and score at least a touchdown. But we want to hold him to a field goal. We get a huge sack right there. He calls timeout. And he actually ends up going for it. And it looks like he might have been able to have it. But nonetheless, we'll never find out because he drops the pass. Right here, I try to be sneaky and put Green at wide receiver. And... Um, Unfortunately, Bortles didn't have the throw power to lead him. Might have been a touchdown, but he had to stop, turn around, and jump up for the pass, which kind of prevented him from, uh, you know, catching it in stride. Little underthrown right there. So right here, no surprise, we're going back to the run, going with some 0-1 traps, you know, trying to, you know, go inside, outside, just confusing. Right here, we're definitely forced to pass third down. You see, I got my two clock on, and right here again, he's still in the same coverage right here. Nice little reroute, and we. Whew, we're getting lucky this game. I cannot say anything about it. We're definitely getting lucky. Right there on a the run commit, we catch Hearns, and he was actually on a comeback. And uh, thankfully, we just lo lobbed it up there, and uh, we let him enough to where he can catch it as if it was a streak and uh, not when he was coming back down. So uh, right here, we decided to run the ball. We get close to the first down, but I'm doing a good job of 
chewing as much time as possible. Right there, we break a tackle. I didn't, you know, I did not mind settling for a field goal right here. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't show right there. He went off sides on the field goal, which is why I went for it on uh, why it was first down again. The guy went off sides on the, the field goal. And I was like, you got you to be kidding me. Dang, I forgot to edit that in. My fault. But uh, trust me, take my word for it. Uh, he went off sides on the field goal trying to block the kick. And uh, that it was fourth and three, so that gave us a fresh set of new downs, fresh set, a fresh set of new downs, which allowed us to go ahead and continue the drive, which we did. So uh, right here, we killed, I think, like the entire third quarter, right, if not majority of it. So right now, it's going to be very difficult for him to come back. I mean, I'll give up the run all day, uh, as long as it's not like a 20-yard gash. You know, he can like runs like this. We don't like. We don't want these these long 14, 15, 20-yard runs. Um, I'm definitely, he just dropped, I'm just getting lucky and he's just having things not go his way and I'll take it. I don't mind things going my way and things going against you. I prefer it that way. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I'd much rather prefer like some people would want like a, a quote unquote straight up game where nobody gets BS. Hell no. Give me all the BS. Let everything come my way. Cause there's plenty of games where I got nothing and everything went the other guy's way. So, uh, he ends up doing a nice little touchdown right there. Ends up kicking onside kick. And uh, we recover. So we're at about midfield. So again, we go back to Grant running the ball, just trying to chew as much time as possible. Again, I, I don't mind even kicking a punt right here. You know, as long as I get to chew up most time as possible. Right there, he went out of bounds, which sucked. Third and three. Again, you see me going back to the run, just, you know, keeping the ball on the ground. I didn't want to risk an incomplete pass and stopping the clock. We actually pick up the first down. We are just killing him with the toss. That's why I love Denver playbook. New Orleans, it's a fumble. And he gets right back in the game with that, man. You got to be kidding me. Um, that is one thing that I wish New Orleans playbook had. New Orleans Snugs has beast uh, inside zone. and all, I mean, look at this. If he knew how to keep himself from stumbling, that might have been a touchdown. Um, if New Orleans had... Uh, well, New Orleans has single back ace, but they don't have the toss. And I like that I can flip the play without um, without uh, playmakering, which kind of gives it away if I'm you know changing the direction of the run. And that's very important because with a toss like that, you cannot run commit down. Because if you do, it's it's a sweep play. You know, it's a toss to the outside. So if you run commit downward, like straight in, it's an easy, you know, 20-yard gain. And don't test that user. And if you got some speed, it's an easy. Like right here, I think he ran commit right there. Like that's the result. of Like you cannot run commit down on a toss. It's just not going to work out for you. You have to run commit on whatever side I'm tossing. Wish New Orleans playbook had that, but they don't. But that's the end of the game, fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Two game, one streak. Let's keep it going.